I first started playing rugby when I was 11. Um, I used to play soccer before that, and my, my old man, uh, being an old rugby nut, decided that that wasn't for, for me. He wanted me to go down and learn how to tackle and fall over and you know take a few knocks and, and get back up from them. So he t took me you know, kicking and screaming down to uh, rugby and you know, first touch of the footy and I was hooked. The best memories of the early days are just the friendships I've made, you know, I'm still in contact with a lot of the guys from those days and, um, and, and just the way that we, we used to look out uh, after each other on the field, you know, it sort of taught me a lot about friendship and what you do for your mates. I try and get away from the pressure by, you know, doing something else. Um, I'm a very sporty person so I love to go for surfs, I love to go for a skateboard. Um, uh, those two things really, I guess, when, when I'm doing them, nothing else seems to matter. It takes my mind off other things and allows me to concentrate on something other than footy. I guess my, my mates would, uh, I, I'd hope my mates would describe me as a, as a good, good Aussie bloke. Um, I, I try and do everything I can for my mates and, and I'm, I try and be there whenever I can for them and when, whenever they need me. Yeah, I'm currently back at uni doing a few things and um, trying to set myself up for a life after footy. but. Uh, at the moment, you know, rugby is really the most important thing to me and, I, and I, I've got such a, I guess, a limited time left that I'm really looking to make the most of it and, and to uh, finish off my career in a way that, you know, I can look back and say that I was really proud of that, but I also did set myself up for life after footy, so, um, you know, it, it's a bit of a balancing act sometimes and, you know, I'm currently stuck in the middle of it. Mm -hmm.